Hi, my name is Carol, and I'm from Austria. Please like and subscribe. You might be surprised to hear this, but in a way, I don't even exist on this planet because my parents never got my birth registered. The day I was born, mom and dad were more excited about getting free supplies from the hospital than having me. I'm saving these ice chips for later. We'll take them home to put in our drinks. These slippers are so soft and comfortable. We'll take these too. But when the doctor told them about the hospital bill, it was like their souls left their bodies. The same night, they sneaked me out of the hospital along with a few other things. I also had two older brothers who were mom and dad's favorite, but they were the meanest to me. Once when I was three, my brothers took me to the park and made me sit on the bench with a for sale sign. A creepy looking woman almost took me away, but thankfully a cop came by just in time. What's happening here? Who's this kid? Everyone ran away like scared bunnies, including my brothers. And when the cop took me home, my parents just slammed the door in his face instead of thanking him. But I never realized how different I was from my family till I was four. One day, dad brought home a huge red velvet cake and he gave us all tiny slices and put the rest away. Later that evening, a hungry beggar girl came by our house. There was nothing else in the fridge, so I just gave her the cake. Here, take this. You can come back for more tomorrow. She looked like I'd made her day. But 10 minutes later, we all went running down the stairs as dad roared. Where's my cake? Who took it? Who doesn't want to live here anymore? I was too scared to say anything, but just then my awful brother pointed out some frosting on my clothes and dad went bonkers. You. You ate my cake. No, I didn't. I gave it to this poor hungry girl and... What? That's even worse. Poor people can pick food out of the trash, can't they? God, you're so stupid. And that's the first time I realized that being nice in my house was considered a crime. After that, mom would only feed me my brother's leftovers, and all the clothes I had were their hand-me-downs. When I was six, I was so excited to join school, but my parents were quick to burst my bubble. What do you think? Money for school fees grow on trees, huh? And school is bad for you. They might teach you some manners, and we don't want that. Go learn something from your brothers instead. Brothers? All they knew was lying and stealing things from other kids. <laughs> so I started sneaking into their room and stealing their books to read, but I didn't know how to. One day, as I was sitting under a tree, an old homeless woman came by and said she could teach me to read. And just like that, she started giving me lessons every day, and we became friends. One day, I sneaked her some clothes and food from my house, but seconds later, mom came running like a bull and charged straight at the poor woman. Give me my clothes back, you filthy rat. I'll burn your house down. I'll come after your family. I, I don't have a home or family. You psycho witch, get off me. Mom let her go, but of course, only after she took back her belongings, and I was grounded. A few days later, Dad got home with the cutest puppy ever, saying he'd found the poor thing wandering on the streets. But one day, when I was walking the puppy, I saw his lost posters all around the corner street. I immediately took him back to his owner, and she was the happiest to have him back. But as soon as I reached home, Dad went ballistic. Where's the freaking dog? It ran away. Do you think I'm a fool? I know you did something. Tell me, where's the dog? And by now, I just had it. Okay, fine. Yes, I took it back to its owner. That was the right thing to do. Are you crazy? That dog was worth thousands of bucks. I stole it to sell it. Can't you see that's just evil? What's wrong with you, Dad? The only wrong thing about my life is you. Maybe we picked up the wrong kid at the hospital because you can't be my daughter. You're such an embarrassment. I burst into tears and ran out of the house. My parents were such mean jerks. I kept walking for hours in the dark until I came across a man sitting by the roadside. He looked in so much pain. Sir, are you okay? Do you need any help? But before he could say anything, he passed out. I called 911 and rushed him to the emergency. I waited around till the doctors told me he was fine. We talked for a bit and I told him about my crazy family. Then I went back home. But a few days later, the same man came knocking on our door. Hello, I'm looking for the kind girl. Oh, you must be talking about me. <laughs> Charmed to meet you, sir. 
But then the man pushed everyone aside and walked towards me. I'm so thankful to you for saving my life, and I want to make it up to you. I'll adopt you and provide you with a better education. Wow, school and friends? This was gonna be awesome! Of course I said yes. And suddenly, my parents started acting like I was their heart and soul. Our beautiful daughter is like heir to us. We can't live without her. If you want to adopt her, you'll have to adopt us too. But as soon as the rich man took out a check from his pocket, they pushed me towards him and grabbed the check. The rich man then took me to his house, and it was literally the size of my entire neighborhood. I had my very own room, and I could eat whatever I wanted. I could finally wear girly clothes that were my own. I was so excited about finally going to school. Everyone treated me really nicely. Maybe because I was wealthy now, but I was nice to everyone, and in no time, I was a favorite among my friends and my teachers. Once the most popular girl in school came to me and said, I heard we can watch Netflix at your place since it's blocked in this stupid area. Oh yes, my dad downloaded FireGuard VPN and unblocked Netflix. We can watch whatever we want. Cool, I love you already. All was good until one day when I was in grade eight, I was giving a speech in the auditorium when suddenly I heard screams. Carol, my daughter. Carol, it's dad, I'm here. Mom, dad, OMG, what was happening? They were screaming my name and being chased by the security guards as they ran towards me, stomping all over the kids. What are you guys doing here? Mom burst into tears and then both of them hugged me so tight, almost choking me. As everyone in the auditorium stared at us and started to laugh, I pulled them out and asked them what was wrong. Oh, honey, we're so poor now. Your brothers, they sold our house and ran away with all the money. We have nowhere to go. Won't you let us stay with you? Our daughter is so kind, she has the heart of a whale. Of course she'll let us stay with her. I felt so terrible seeing them this way. And even though they were mean to me, I couldn't let them live on the streets. The rich man was away on business, so I let them stay at my home with me for a while. But later at night, I heard some strange noises in my room, and then someone grabbed my leg. I almost had a heart attack. Mom, what are you doing here? Oh, I, I was just, I was just looking for the washroom. This place is so huge, I almost peed my pants. But look at your bed, it's so soft and fluffy. Won't you share it with me? Um, sure. And before I could even say anything, Mom threw me out of my own bed. The next day was a complete nightmare. Mom was dressed like a freaking jewelry from head to toe and was ordering around all the maids like she was the owner of the house. Mom, what are you doing? This jewelry? It belongs to the rich man's late wife. You can't wear it. Of course I can't, sweetie. It's not like that poor woman is gonna walk out of the grave to get them back. And then, Dad walked out of the rich man's room dressed in his nightgown. Dad, that's not your room, and these clothes? Please, take them off. Oh, dear, don't you remember you gave your mom's clothes to the poor woman on the streets? I'm the poor woman now. Besides, your new dad has tons of these. I'm sure he doesn't mind me taking one. Ah, uh, they were so crazy. I was already getting late for school, so I rushed out, but I had to do something about them before the rich man came back. Later that evening, when I returned home, I heard some weird noises. I sneaked up to the rich man's room and saw my parents trying to break into his safe. Ha, I can't believe that stupid girl. She's such a fool. She easily fell for our crocodile tears. I knew from day one she was a loser. She gave away my last piece of cake to a beggar. Can you believe that? Ugh, stop with the cake crying for God's sakes. It's been seven years. What, they were playing me all along? I felt so stupid for falling for their trap. But this was it. I couldn't stand their greediness anymore. That's it. Mom, Dad, I want you guys to leave this house right now. What? Oh, darling, this is... No, I don't want to hear anything. I thought you might have changed, but you guys don't care about me. All you care about is money. This is the last time you'll make a fool of me. Just leave right now. Oh, now that you have money, you think you're all high and mighty and you can order us around. We don't want to live with you as well. We'll leave tonight. That's enough. I'm calling the police. Didn't she say, leave right now? It was the rich man. He was back from his trip, and the look in his eyes, he was furious. You've hurt my daughter enough. Carol, if it was anyone else, they'd already be in jail. But tell me, 
What do you want to do? I looked at their mean faces, and my eyes welled up. You guys are terrible and totally deserve to go to jail, but I don't want to be the one to send you. Just go away and never come back. If you ever come near me or contact me, I will call the police myself. The rich man called security and asked to throw my parents out of the house. You, you're a brat. You ain't my daughter, you're Satan. I should have left you at the hospital. No, my jewels, my precious. Please, let me take one of these. I felt so terrible. All they cared about was money till the end. But then the rich man hugged me and comforted me. Now it was just me and him. Finally, I got rid of my toxic parents and learned the hard way that not everyone is worth helping. A few years later, I even heard that they were serving time in jail, but now I had my dad, who was my family.